Today we're looking at repotting Echeveria, and in particular Echeveria argevoides Romeo Rubin, which is a wonderful little plant, and you can see here some examples of some smaller plants and the beautiful colour that appears in winter. We'll hand over to James Lucas, who'll take us through the process. Look, these are some of the pots we import. You, know, you can have just a normal plastic pot, or if you've got something a bit special, you can get one of these pots. Now, the beauty of these pots is they all have large drainage holes in the bottom. And this helps airflow and things like that. Now, a lot of the times we also have a little drainage disc, stops the soil falling out through the base of the pot. Now, I've chosen that pot because I think that will match Romeo Rubin really well. And I'm going to uh, pot that up for you now. And I'm going to add a bit of extra pumice and a few other things and show you how we're going to pot it. Now I've chosen this particular pot because I just think it's a reasonably good colour match and contrast. So you choose some of the colours to suit your plant and or contrast, opposite, whatever. Yeah, this is the pumice we're using. I'm probably, in this mix, at least 30% will be pumice. And it holds water, but it's very light and airy. So it really it's a water flow through. I'll blend that through till I get it what I think looks good. It's just a feeling you have. I can't explain it any more than that. Okay, I reckon that's, that's probably nearly 50-50 or 40-60 blend of pumice and our soil mix. Now what we'll do, just put a little in the bottom here. Now we're going to tease out some roots here. When you get your plants out, a bit of a squeeze, a bit of a squeeze, underneath, never on top. Let your plants slide out gently. And we're going to tease out some roots without taking off too many. And while we're, whilst we're doing this, we're going to take off any old leaves. This is actually quite an old plant. It's got quite a big butt on it. It's actually quite old, this plant. Older than you think. And it's got a bit of a TC ring around it. So we're going to take that off. It's decomposed. See some of the perlite and peat it was actually growing in originally? Yeah. yeah. A little drop of fertilizer, not much, that's too much, half of that. Now, if you don't want to get stuff on the foliage, we use one of these. Build up a little higher than what you think you need because it will press down. Now remember, I'm actually holding this plant up so it doesn't sink down because I really want the base of this up in the air. Now that looks a little floppy at the moment, but don't, don't worry. See, don't forget, this soil will settle a little bit with a couple of waterings later on. Now we're not going to, I won't water this plant for another two or three weeks because we've upset its root system and I don't think you want to muck around with them like that, especially this plant. I like to let them dry right out in here, let them develop new roots in the new dry soil, then you start to water. Now, you'll see, is it room left a bit hot? See, I can lift him over, he wobbles around. And what I'll do, I'm gonna choose a nice gravel that will match that. Back to this. It's a bit coarse. Uh, this will allow plenty of airflow and virtually fill up your pot to the edge so that when you water, the water will go into the gravel and that's probably enough water as a water reserve that will then percolate down through the soil. So this is how I would pot one of the Romeo relatives. Echeveria Romeo itself is a sought after hybrid and we have a separate video detailing Echeveria Romeo and its relatives. Subscribe to the YouTube channel for regular updates on a whole range of succulents and indeed all aspects of gardening. Good luck with your gardening.